Did you know that the data centers of today are completely different to the data centers of yesterday? The secret history of data centers. The 1940s. On a technical level, the very first data centers date back to the 1940s, when the first mainframe computers were being developed. These early computers, equipped with rows upon rows of knobs and switches, would occupy whole rooms. These computer rooms were the first data centers. The 1960s. Mainframe computers and data centers were being upgraded with groovy new features, such as climate control, fire suppression systems, and backup power. Now, those cooling capabilities and those secondary power options were crucial. The 1970s. It only took a hot minute for society to distinguish the difference between a computer and a data center. Computers, they shrunk in size and they added milestone features such as the keyboard, the mouse, and the monitor. Data centers became data storage hubs that were, you know, usually placed in basements or in unused spaces. These basement data centers were not very efficient and they needed copious, overwhelming amounts of power. The 1990s. Presenting you with a key moment, the dot-com bubble of 1997 to 2000. Now, what exactly was the dot-com bubble? The dot-com bubble was a stock market bubble. It was a period of rapid and unsustainable growth in the valuation of internet-based companies. The dot-com bubble led to a surge in demand for internet services as more and more people started using the internet to shop, to bank and to communicate. Meanwhile, during the dot-com bubble, engineers, programmers and telecommunications companies were facing a digital crisis to keep up with this demand. Data storage needed to run perpetually. We're talking on-the-clock 24-7 deployments. So what was the solution? By building these extremely large facilities, you can probably guess what they are. The 2000s. The bubble burst and the data center building boom actually contributed to a data center crash. Far too many data centers were being built in a very small amount of time. Many companies that invested heavily in data centers, they found themselves in serious financial trouble. As a result, many data center companies had no choice but to lay off their employees and scale back their operations. And because of all of this, the IT industry has had to take dramatic steps to improve the reliability and the security of data centers. Today, there are data centers all over the world and they are all essential for businesses of all sectors. So there you have it, a brief history of data centers.